So here's another question. They are asking us to prove that BD times AD is the same as BC times AB. So this looks more like a similarity type of question. There are parallel lines, but it doesn't have this normal setup where the parallel lines are inside a triangle like that. So we should start by trying with similarity. So always go straight to the question and the question has a BD in it. So I'm just going to go with BD like that. It's got AD, so AD will be there. BC is over here and AB is over there. So which two triangles stand out to you? Well, it's possibly going to be these two. So there's this triangle over here and then this one over here like that. So let's get started. So we need to tell the teacher what triangles we are wanting to work in. So we're going to work in this triangle on the left. So I'm just going to call that ABD. No, no need to have the right order. And then we're also going to work in this one and that's just going to be, I'll just call that CBD. Okay, the order doesn't matter at that point because we're just trying to tell the teacher which triangles we're working in. Only later will we focus on the order. So we need to include a bit of grade 11 circle geometry in this question. So for example, we know that this angle here, that should be 90. Why? Because it's a radius hitting a tangent. Okay, so we can say that, ang now we're not going to say angle D, we're not going to say D1, D2 or D3. The way to call this angle would be to say, ADB with a little copy on top of the D that should be equal to 90 degrees why that is because of the tan rad theorem okay so we say tan perpendicular to rad I know that some curriculums especially the IEB curriculum they would they would expect you to say which tangent you're talking about so you could say tangent AD for example and radius OD, for example. But the normal CAPS curriculum, you can get away with just saying tan rad. Then in this pink triangle, we could also say that this angle is 90 degrees. Why? Because of angles in a semicircle, because this is the diameter. BD is the diameter. So we can say that angle C is 90 because of angles in a semicircle. In semicircle, like that. Okay, so therefore ADB, which is 90, is going to be the same as angle C, which is also 90. Okay, so we've got one angle so far, so that's one. For number two, we could say that this angle is the same as this angle. Why? Alternating angles between the two parallel lines. So how would you call this angle over here? Well, you would have to do something like A, B, D. A, B, D with a little copy over there is going to be the same as this one, which is going to be B, D, C. And that's because of alternating angles, because the lines A, B and C, D are parallel. So there we have two things already in those two triangles. And the third one is automatic. So we haven't used this one yet, and we haven't used this one. So we can say that angle A is going to be equal to D, B, C. Why? Because of the sum of angles in a triangle. Done. So we've proved all three angles and now we can say that they are similar. So we can say therefore triangle. Now I'm just going to name the first one in any order, A, B, D. But now the order matters for the next one. So A, well that went with B. Then angle B in this one, well that went with angle D in that one. And then angle D in this triangle went with angle C in that triangle. And so the reason for this is angle, angle, angle. Now remember, after you say that, you can then use your ratios. You can say that AB over BD is going to be the same as BD over... DC and that's going to be the same as AD over BC and the reason for that one I would have added it here in a test but I don't have space so I'm going to say corresp which represents corresponding sides in proportion or in prop so now what we can do is look at what we're looking for so we need BD so that's over here and also over here 
and then they also want AD, so that's over here, and then they want BC, which is over here, and they want AB. So the best to choose would be the first and the last. So we can say AB over BD equals to AD over BC. Cross multiply gives us AB times by BC is equal to AD times by BD. So I've got it in the opposite way around to the, the over there, but that's mathematically okay. And then they could have easily have asked us something with AB squared because have a look, I mean BD squared, because have a look here. If you had to take this BD and this BD over here and you did cross multiplying, you would end up with BD squared equals to AB times by DC. So they could have asked you that as well. And the reason that that's happening is we chose two triangles and both of those triangles have side BD. So if you have two triangles that have the same side, then you are able to get something to the power of two if you need to. But in this question, they just asked us that. And so we did it over there.